figures. I get one good line and you've blown it by not turning it on in time. This is all my best material. I got nothing past this. Because I suck at this, basically. <laughs> we're here at GraniteCon 2013, and we're talking with Blair Shedd, the Doctor Who artist, for lack of anything better, because his Doctor Who stuff is cool. Blair, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So talk about your artwork, talk about Doctor Who, talk about what's been going on at the con. Well, uh, this has been a pretty good con so far. Uh, uh, I love that ex they expanded to two days. Um, I've been doing a few sketches, uh, some Doctor Who stuff, some other stuff, uh, selling some uh, comics, selling some prints. Uh, as far as what's going on with Doctor Who in general, I am I'm still doing covers for the, the book and um, working on a few other comics in the process, but not Doctor Who comics, unfortunately. Can you talk about the other stuff you're doing right now? Yeah. Um, I'm working on an anthology right now called uh, Sit Comics. It's uh, written, the whole anthology is written by uh, writer uh, Darren Henry. Uh, I'm working on one particular section of it called uh, Z People, which is a sort of comedic, uh, uh, sort of post-apocalyptic zombie story that takes place in uh, uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, Pennsylvania and uh, home of the zombies <laughs> yeah and and it is and it's the only pocket of uh, uh, of zombies in in the United States it's been wiped out everywhere else and everything is pretty much normal everywhere else except for in Pittsburgh which they're now calling Zomberg and there's only uh, one uh, uh, there's only a small group like of seven or so people that are not turned in this town and they've the, they call for help, and the president basically basically says, "Oh, you're in the quarantine zone. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to have you stay there, and you guys get to go around and ear tag zombies for the next five years until we lift the quarantine." Uh, and and so it's just it. This one little uh, story introduces uh, these characters and what they have to deal with in uh, uh, the new zombie town, and so they call themselves Z people, and it, it, it's a fun book. It's it's sort of. Uh, my uh, Doctor Who style, uh, slightly different coloring, uh, but it's a lot more comedic. Um, uh, and I'm having fun with that, and I'm also working on my own book, uh, The Raptor, uh, which I haven't, I mean, I'm working on it here and there, but I need to get back to it because uh, I really miss working on my own stuff. Is there a difference for you working on your own stuff as opposed to doing uh, like commission work or artwork for a specific genre? Uh, yeah, uh, mainly because uh, I don't have to answer to anyone. Uh, I don't get texts saying, have you finished this, or calls saying, hey, can you uh, change it to that. Uh, I mean, I, I, I can be very picky about my own stuff, but at least that's mostly internal monologue, uh, except for the moments it becomes external monologue and people stare at me in the supermarket. But uh, for the most part, uh, yeah, I, it's, it's more fun to work on my own stuff that I'm writing and such for myself. But... Uh, because I don't have to answer to uh, an editor or uh, do something to make it easier for a colorist or whatever. I just make it hard for myself. So what's more difficult, your internal monologue or your external editor? Um, they get pretty close sometimes. Uh, the, my external editor is someone, of course, I have to listen to. My internal monologue I can ignore, but uh, uh, I tend to swear at myself a lot. It's, it's quite offensive. It kind of, sounds kind of like us. We're talking with Blair Shedd. We're at GraniteCon 2013, the 10th anniversary GraniteCon. And we'll see you again here next year? Yes, so oh, definitely, definitely. Outstanding. Thank you so much.